This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. So we've seen how we can manipulate dates in Excel using month, day, year, and finding out today's date, finding out today's time, and then a clever use of a variety of formulas and functions to figure out someone's age. Now there is a hidden formula in Excel that is quite useful for working out ages and for finding out other differences in dates, and that's the date diff function. So in the next column of our date manipulation underscore date diff file, we could calculate the age a different way. So it's equals date diff. Now notice how it's not appeared in the list of Excel functions. Equals date diff open brackets. There's not even a pop down yellow box of any help at all. So we're looking to find the difference between two dates. The first date has to be the oldest one. So that's going to be the date of birth, comma. Second date has to be the newest one, so that's today, and comma. So we want to find the difference between these two dates, the person's date of birth and today's date, which is how you find out their ages. And um, all we're interested in is the years. So I don't need to do any of that dividing by 365 or int stuff. I can just put a little y in speech marks at the end there, and then close brackets. So it's equals date diff, open brackets, the oldest date, comma, the newest date, comma, the date. The difference between those two dates. So I want to see the years. You can put M for months and D for days in there. Let's see if that gets the same result. 43. And double click to send it down because everything's relative and all the ages will be the same. Whether you worked it out that way or whether you worked it out that way. This way obviously doesn't require the knowing how many days are in a year and how to use the integer function. Now the date diff formula can take the Y in the end there, or it can take a D, or it can take M, or it can take a YM. If I explain, we have equals date diff. It's a shame that it's an unsupported function. Equals date diff, date of birth, comma, today's date, comma. Don't forget the open and close bracket after the today function to tell Excel that it is a function. Without the open and close bracket, it will look for a named range called today. Then the third part is, how do we want to see that difference? Well, I want to see it as YM which is how many months are left after it's taken all the full years off. Close brackets, return. So you can see that Wendy Parker is 43 years, nine months. So there are nine full months left over after the 43 are taken off. And she was born in August last year. Take the little handle, throw it down, and everyone else is the same. So we have a zero there on the full months, because this person here, Richard Waters, was born April the 23rd, and we haven't reached May the 23rd yet, so there's not a full month. So that was using YM in the end. And we can use MD to work out the days. So equals date diff, open brackets, the oldest date, comma, the newest date, comma, the difference, which is MD. So that's how many days are left after it's taken all the full months off. And we can see 12. So Wendy Parker is 43 years, 9 months, 12 days old. And we can take that to the bottom because everything's relative. If someone happened to have their birthday today, we would have a 0 in there. We've got a 1 in there. 13th, because today's the 14th. That's quite a useful little function that is not documented anywhere in Excel. It's classed as an unsupported function. One of the reasons I think it's unsupported is because you've got to get these two dates the right way around. If I were to put today as the first date, and then comma F2, so the person's date of birth, and press return, I get hash num, because the function cannot calculate what effectively would be a negative number. So the dates have to be the right way around. So it's always the older of the two dates you're trying to compare, comma, the newer of the two dates you're trying to compare, comma, what difference would you like to see between the two? And your choices are Y for years, M for months, D for days, or YM for months having taken all the full years off, so sort of the remainder months, or MD for the days that are left after all the full months are taken off. And that's the date diff function.